I told you that I've been through everything you've been through and more. I have the haters, the people that don't like you, the people that you think didn't like you, but they always rooted for you, but you were too busy feeling the discomfort and feeling embarrassed and feeling ashamed and feeling disappointed and staying stuck that you didn't know who was rooting for you nor did you know who was hating you couldn't even tell the difference because you were so lost nothing is going to be easy when you're on the journey nothing is going to be easy when you're on the journey to success Everything is hard purposely because only a few make it. Only a few are willing to walk the moon. Only a few. And when I say few, I'm about one because only one person is willing. Even if 10 people were on that mission, there's one that'll say, I'll go out there. Someone will pose a question and then it will be one person that raised their hands. I've been in classes, you've been in classes. You might have been the person when the teacher calls and says, who wants to be the person that comes up here? No one answers. And then finally, someone gets the courage enough to say, and his hand doesn't even go all the way up. It is, I'll, I'll do it. So you can look around you and see that there's not a lot of brave people around you. There's more cowards than there are people who have courage. But you have to decide who you are. What is your life? Surrounded by who are you? Are you just a mimic of what's going on in the world right now? People who are weak and believe that their system or the government is what's going to help you, what's going to lead you to success? They're only taking themselves to success. And if they didn't bring you on their journey, what makes you think they're coming back for you to get you now? Stop being stupid. Stop being dumb. When are you going to fight for your own life and stop telling your mother that she needs to help you? Stop telling your wife or your husband or this person or that person or anybody to help you. When are you going to stop calling and reaching out for everyone else's help through a telephone when it took someone's courage in their journey to create this so we can get on the telephone? When are you going to stop reaching for the telephone? When are you going to stop going for everyone else's creations? And you're going to come up with your own creation. And you're going to create your own opportunity. When are you going to stop reaching for everyone else? When are you going to stop? When are you going to be worthy? When are you going to feel worthy? When are you going to stop feeling uncomfortable and discomfort and complaining and worrying and saying that you're not going to make it and you're helpless and it's too late? When? You tell me when. But let me tell you something. What if I said, you know all of the answers to the test? What if I tell you that you know all the answers to the test? You just never put yourself to the test. You never put yourself in front of the test. So you don't even know if you can make it or not because you never attempted it. You're just afraid. You're scared. I get it. I've been there. I get it. Trust me. I get it. But if you quit now, then you can say goodbye to the championship. You can say goodbye to getting a trophy. You can say goodbye to success. You can say goodbye to bettering yourself. You can say goodbye to that car you want, that house you want, the family that you want, the lifestyle you want. You can say goodbye to it. Kiss it goodbye. Because you're not willing to take any of the risk. But you're willing to risk not getting up and failing, feeling let down, feeling the disappointment, going through the struggle and suffer. You, 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 you risk that. But you won't risk it. Do the right thing to get yourself to stand on your feet to do better for yourself. You rather complain and point fingers and blame others because it gives you a way to escape. 
It gives you a way to get out of there right now. You get to go. You don't got to finish. You don't got to finish the 100 push-ups that your, your coach told you to do. You don't got to finish because you can just talk about Charlie over there. Hey, he's not doing it either. Oh, yeah, that's right. So you can focus on him. You can get the attention off of you to focus on someone else. How about you put the attention on you? How about you do it, though? You put the attention on yourself. Yeah, you're watching a video. You watch lots of motivational videos. But I'm asking you this question, and it's a serious question. When are you going to risk your life? When are you going to take greater risk? And stop risking your life over nonsense, over selling drugs. You do it for drinking alcohol. You do it for drinking weed, smoking weed. I'm high, I'm done. Yeah, you're right, you're done, you're done. There's nothing left in you. You're done. You're finished. It's over. It's the countdown. Except you're not on a mission. You're on a mission to fail. So what I'm asking you is that when are you going to stop? I need you to wake up. I need you to look at me right now in my eyes and say, I'm going to stop. I will not fail. I will not give up. I will not quit. I will succeed. Look. To be honest with you, you have, you're gonna have the haters there in your life. You're gonna have people who don't, you know, that tell you they wanted you to make it. They never was there, they never was there from the start. But forget about them. Go on that mission yourself. Put that book back on and begin to walk. And I guarantee you, by the time you get down to the 10th mile, you look around and there's nobody else out there but you and nature, you'll realize who you needed to call on from day one. It wasn't friends and family. It wasn't your mother, it wasn't your father, it wasn't your best friend, it wasn't your husband, it wasn't your wife. It was God. Because when you're out there alone, he's the one that's gonna help you get through everything. He's your cut man when you need one. When everybody, when you're looking out there and you're in the boxing ring and you're boxing and you're going at it and you're throwing blows, but this guy is just hurting you and he's knocking you and you get back to that corner, your cut man is there to still help you through everything that you've just been through. And that's who God is. But if you continue to believe in nothing, you continue to, you'll fall for anything. But you have to have something in front of you. You have to have a why, a, a reason why you're doing this. But it can't be for just everyone else because you may not do it because they're not motivating you now because they're not motivated themselves and they need to watch the same video so you're looking for something that they don't have that you're trying to receive. So I don't think they're gonna help you when you can't even help you. Stop being foolish. I need you to find the tools, locate the tools. Because this journey to success, we're gonna go on together. But I need you to go out here and get the tools, get the things and get figure out what exactly you're going after. That's what we're gonna do first. Figure out what you're going after. Figure out how you're gonna get there. And prepare yourself because you're going. That's what you're gonna tell people. I'm going with or without you. If you continue to settle, you're cool with the leftovers. You don't want the feast. You just you just come the second day and get the leftovers. Stuff that everybody didn't want to eat, you just finish. Hey, you got any of that cornbread? No, we ate that. That was good. But um, there's some biscuits in there that was a little hard. You can have those. And you're okay with that. Pick yourself up. Lift your head up higher. Carry yourself with your shoulders up. Feel great. Feel that you're important. You don't need to go to the VIP section to feel like you're very important. No, you don't. You wake up and you feel important because you're on a mission. You're on a journey. You're going on a journey to success and success is the destination. But you don't know how long it's gonna take, but you're gonna go through it and you're gonna get there. You're not gonna stop until you get there. 